Good morning, and welcome to an unboxing video. Full disclosure, I'm kind of loopy right now. I got my second COVID shot like 48 hours ago. I think 48 hours ago. Yeah, 48 hours ago, wow. And I uh, can't really, I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of loopy. But thought I would dive into an unboxing video before we get too far in the van build. I think one of the hardest parts about building a van that I've learned at least is predicting when you need stuff, what you need to be prepared, and then also how to find the best deals on the internet. A lot of this is playing the long game, checking Amazon prices as they fluctuate, trying to find sales, clearance, Craigslist, just constantly searching. There's a lot of time spent in the evenings looking for random stuff on the internet. But without further ado, I thought we'd get unboxing. Let's start with the fun stuff, some kitchen appliances. Full disclosure, I have opened some of these boxes already. Um, I just wanted to check what they look like. And some of them have been sitting in my basement for upwards of four to five months. So that's that. First things first, this is the one, the first thing, but it's basically the only thing not in an actual box. It came with a bunch of styrofoam that I didn't want to get outside. It's also such a nice day. It's like 75 and I'm sweating. My sink, it's huge. Super excited for this to go in the van. Hopefully it's gonna go in the van in the next couple weeks. That's the sink. I'm just gonna set this aside, otherwise it's gonna be way too long of a video. Next thing's next. Oh, also unboxing video, we gotta use a steak knife, of course. I feel like all good unboxing videos use a steak knife. They're usually on like a nice white table too, not this one. All right, so here is the sink faucet. Comes out, it's gonna be able to spin around, be an outdoor shower. Very happy with it. This one was actually a gift from my grandmother. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to put this in the van as well. Another kitchen appliance. A pretty exciting one, too. It's the gas stove next. Comes with a nice cutout template, so I can cut that out of my countertop. The grating for the top. Styrofoam, ugh, not a fan of styrofoam. And here is the stove itself. It will be a propane stove. This is what it's kind of going to look like with that on there. I think it's going to be great. It has a battery powered starter, so I don't have to use a lighter. Beautiful stove. I think it's going to be great. Also hoping to put this in in the next couple weeks. It's going to be a stretch, but we'll see if we can get there. All right, so something that I have never even opened and I'm not sure I'm gonna open it here either, but just wanted to show you guys, just use some staples and if I ever wanna return it, I don't wanna open it, so that's that. But this is my 2.5 gallon hot water heater. Really mainly gonna be used for showers because it uses a ton of power. So probably not gonna have hot water in the sink all the time, um, but this is what I'm going with. 2.5 gallons is not a lot, but for a van, should be more than enough. I don't know what to open next. Guess we'll go with this guy. As you can see by the packaging, this one I don't think is gonna be much of a surprise. Oh, gotta use a knife. This is my fan for the roof. I'm hoping to put this in this weekend, so we'll see how that goes. But there you have it. Oh, gotta move this out of the way. There you have it, Max Air Fan. This both, both pulls and pushes air into the van. I think it's gonna be great. This was one of those things that I had to check on Amazon like seven times for. I bought one and then the price went down by like almost a hundred bucks. So I returned that one, bought this one. Um, you just gotta be vigilant, make sure you're constantly searching to find the best deal. So kind of jumping around a little bit, but back to kitchen stuff. This box is probably the thing I've been most excited about that has shown up at my house over the last four to five months. It is my 12 volt fridge. I went with Dometic. Wow, do you guys see all this pollen? 
sorry, back to regular scheduled programming. So this is my Dometic fridge. Also, I did open this one already. I couldn't wait to show you just to you guys, I'm sorry. So I went with the Dometic CRX 65. Um, this fridge is a little bit bigger than your standard dorm fridge, uh, and it has enough space in the freezer compartment to fit an entire pint of ice cream, plus some frozen bananas. Love frozen bananas. So super excited about this guy. Um, this was another one that I had to spend a lot of time searching on the internet for. Um, I actually found this for pretty much 50% off, off an RV website. Um, these things, 12 volt fridges in general, are super expensive. So you really gotta find the best deal. I would not recommend paying full price for one. Um, $1,000 is a lot for a fridge. Do not spend $1,000 on a fridge this size. Keep looking for deals, they will come up. Um, but that's my fridge. I love it, can't wait to put it in the van. Perfect size, I think I'll be able to last for like at least one week with just this fridge. I've made a bit of a mess, so I'm just gonna clean things up really quickly. Uh, give me like uh, five seconds. All right, we are back. The last couple things are getting a little more technical. Well, let's get into it. So first things first, another roof piece of the roof. This I had to pay a lot of money for, not really a lot of money for, but for what it is, it seemed like a lot of money. And it took three and a half months to get to me. So I ordered this in January. It literally showed up last week. What do you guys think it is? Drop a comment down below. Uh, what do you think it's gonna be? It is, let's put this maybe like this. This is my skylight slash roof vent. So I didn't want to have too many windows in the actual van because I kind of want it to be stealth-ish. Um, but I did want to have some extra ventilation so that the van can pull air through. And I thought a skylight would also be amazing so you can look up from bed and see through the roof. I don't think a lot of van conversions have this. So this is actually an RV skylight. Um, and again, hoping to put this in pretty shortly here, and then you guys will see it in the van. So skylight, it pops open so you can have it at different angles. It's also, you can have it open and there's still a rain cover. So I think it should be a pretty good investment. It just, just take a very long time to get here. So RV skylight. Okay, so the next two are similar, but different. This is going to go underneath the van on the passenger side. This is my seven gallon gray tank for the sink. I think seven gallons for just the sink is gonna be more than enough. I'm probably gonna have the exact same thing under the other side of the van for the shower. Um, and then these will be able to drain whenever. So um, seven gallon gray tank for the sink. Pretty boring, but a great deal on Amazon. This box, let's see what we can do here. Again, similar vein, but much larger size. This is my 30 gallon freshwater tank. This guy is gonna be mounted inside the van so that it doesn't freeze ever. Um, and it is going to have enough water, hopefully for two weeks of off-grid camping, living, whatever we decide to do in it. 30 gallons is on the larger end for a van my size, so I think it should do the trick. Um, obviously, there's no real hookups on here yet, but this will go in the garage and hopefully be enough water for whatever you want to do. It's getting pretty hot out. The sun is a lot. Hopefully, it's okay video. I, again, still don't really know how to frame the shot or do deal with exposure, but I'm trying to learn. Anyway, tried to save best for last here. These are all my solar products that I currently have, electrical system. There's some other bits and bobs that I have down in the basement. Um, and then I also have some more stuff on order. So by no means is this exhaustive, but this is what I have right now. More stuff will come in. 
I'm kind of going with Renogy for most of my stuff, hoping that it will be more or less plug and play. I have some electrical experience, but not a ton. Um, so I, they have really great customer service I've heard and I'm hoping that that holds true for me. So this is the first Renogy product that came in. And this will be one of my forms of charging my batteries. This 20 amp DC to DC battery charger will basically plug into my van's alternator um, and when the van is running will charge my batteries in the back um, that will power everything from my cell phone to the water pump to basically everything. So this will just be one form of charging for those back batteries. Um, pretty standard. This is on the smaller size because my van is a, has the smallest of the Sprinter engines. It's just the four cylinder. Um, I have only the 20 amp um, because it can't pull quite as many um, amps from the alternator. The alternator on my van is smaller than say if you have uh, a Sprinter van with the V6. They have a bigger alternator. You can pull more current from them. So smaller alternator uh, charger, but this will hopefully be amazing on long road trips. So these are my solar panels and uh, solar charge controller. Let's get into it. Three 100 watt solar panels. I ordered this. This is the 300 watt premium kit from Renogy. This is what they look like. They're monocrystalline panels. Um, the 300 watt premium kit really just comes with most of the stuff you need. Um, it's kind of a starter kit for your RV, van conversion, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's pretty exhaustive. You still have to order some other things, um, but this comes with three of these panels um, and then some other stuff I'll show you here. But this is about the size, so I'm gonna have three of these spaced out on the roof along with the skylight and vent fan. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Also hoping to have these on the van maybe this weekend. So along with the three panels in the box from Renogy, this box also arrived. And this has all that other stuff I was talking about. So it includes the necessary, necessary cabling you need to connect your panels together. It includes a really cool, this is another reason why I ordered the Renogy kit, is it has a Bluetooth module that monitors you can basically, it's, it's an app on your phone um, and you can monitor what state of charge your batteries have, how much how much voltage you're able to pull in from the sun, how efficient your, your usage has been. Um, so a lot of really great information from that module that this just ties into your system. Um, so another reason to go with something that's already built rather than building something yourself, even though, again, this is a slightly higher price point. Um, and then some other bits and bobs in here, but, try to show you this is the other kind of cool bit is the Renogy Rover charge controller um, so you get this at a discounted price if you order the premium kit um, and it's actually a really great charge controller from everything I've read charge controllers basically take the voltage coming in from the Sun convert it into something your batteries can, the 12 volt that your batteries can actually take in um, and it actively monitors your battery state of charge all that kind of stuff um, so this is a 40 amp MPPT charge controller. There's different types of charge controllers. This one is supposed to be pretty good. Um, this will go in the garage and have everything plugged into it. So that's basically all I got from Renogy um, for now. But again, more stuff will be coming. So that's all I got for now. I do have a lot of other stuff down in the basement. I don't think you really want to see it. There's a knife rack. There's little LED puck lights. There's ball valves for my gray water tank. Comment down below if you want to see those stuff. I'll do another unboxing, but just let me know. Um, I could talk about my ball valve for days, so I'll share it with you if you want. Um, but yeah, now that I've made this mess, I think we're gonna call it a wrap on the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And hope you're getting some sun. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. There's a car going by. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Birds, again.
this is a long skinny box.